All right, we need to graph this line. Now there is more than one way to graph a line. One way is to make a table of ordered pairs. So here's one method. You could make a little chart, x, and then you want to find, want to find out what y is, and that's going to be negative 3 fourths whatever x times whatever x is plus 1. So since we're going to multiply by x, x by negative 3 fourths, we want to pick values of x that are easy to multiply by negative 3 fourths. And that would be multiples of the denominator 4. So let's pick 0, that's an easy number to put in for x. And let's plug in negative 4 and we'll try in positive 4. See how that goes. So if I put in 0 for x, this becomes negative 3 fourths times 0, that'll be 0 plus 1, or 1. So that's the order pair 0, 1. What about if you put in negative 4? So I'm going to put negative 3 fourths times negative 4. I'm going to write that as negative 4 over 1 plus 1. So notice I have a negative times a negative. That's going to be positive, right? And then notice how these 4s are going to cancel. I designed it that way. I chose numbers that 4 is going to go into. So I ended up with 3 plus 1. So that's the order pair. Um, if I put in negative 4, what's 3 plus 1? That would be positive 4. What about if I put in positive 4 for x. The 4's cancel, but I still have a negative sign. So negative 3 plus 1, that, that means when I put in 4, what do I get? I see I've got negative 3 plus 1, that's 4, negative 2. Alright, so let's plot these three order pairs. 0, 1, so we'll say this is x, this is y, and let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll say there is 8, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I always like to mark at least one number on each axis. All right, so we have 0, 1 will be right here. That's the first order pair. Then we've got negative 4, 4. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's negative 4, 4. And the last one is 4, negative 2 over 4, down 2. Those all lie in a straight line, so that probably is correct. If one of them's off, that means you made a mistake on at least one of them, and so there's our line. Another way you could have done this is if you know the slope-intercept method. When you have y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 1, the slope is negative 3 fourths, which I'm going to write as negative 3 over positive 4, and b that's the number where it, um, it goes through the y-axis. So let's say I had done it this way. I would have put b, because I know that's one of the ordered pairs, and then I would use the slope to find another point. And so remember, remember that's the vertical over the horizontal, or some people think of it as the change in y over the change in x. So from this point, I need to go in the horizontal direction four spaces, which is positive four to the right, one, two, three, four. And then in the vertical direction, I'm going to go down three, one, two, three, and I would get this point. So when you connect the, those points, you get the same line. 